Hey everyone, welcome to Aragon Haven, your Aragon Hotspot. My name is Aaron. Today we are going to be field testing the Umarex Gauntlet 22 caliber PCP air rifle. We're starting right now. I pulled a little bit on that one. Hey everyone, welcome to Aragon Haven, your Aragon Hotspot. My name is Aaron. Today we are going to be field testing the Umarex Gauntlet 22 caliber PCP air rifle. So it is a really nice day out here, very sunny. Um, really, really nice. It's t shirt weather for me, as you can see. And Maybe a little bit of wind drift here, maybe two, three, four miles an hour is all it probably is, so not much. If the wind effects our results, we will test it another day as well. So if you guys are new here, while you're here, please consider subscribing for more Aragon content. That's all I do here. Um, a couple disclaimers before we get into the video here. This gun is being shot in a safe and controlled environment. Um, we'll also be doing this field test from about 20 yards away. Um, that's what I have this gun set it in for, so... Um, I will be using the Crossman hollow point 14.3 grain 22 caliber pellets and on this gun I have the vortex copperhead 3 through 9 by 40 on here um, a few things I am going to say how we're going to do this video if you guys did watch the Umarex on the 25 field test we're going to do this a lot similar so I'm going to show you guys how to fill the gun then I'm going to show you how to load your 10 shot rotary magazine then I'm going to show you how to load the single shot tray in the gun um, but we're not going to use a single shot tray We'll take about 10 shots from 20 yards and we'll see how we do. So let's go ahead and get the gun filled up here. All right, everyone. So I'm going to show you guys here real quick how to hook up your compressor to your gun. And I'll show you how to turn it on. So if we look at the gun here, you can see right there is that fill nipple. You know, all you have to do is pull that little black cover off and you will expose that. What you're going to do, sit your gun up. I showed you guys this in the 25. Take this right here. We're going to have to move the compressor a little bit here, I bet. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do, you're going to take your quick connect adapter, slide that right on, you should hear it click. Sometimes it'll just go on there without clicking, but as long as you can't pull it off, it's good. Here's my tip, take this ammo box right here, lean your gun against it, then go ahead, flip your machine on. Now we're going to go look at the fill gauge. Alright everyone, so as you can see, we're on the fill gauge here, might not be the clearest, but I'm just going to kind of show you guys filling it up. I will skip this ahead at some points as this is filling because this is going to take a couple minutes. So um, just make sure you're keeping an eye on your gauge as you fill so that you don't overfill your gun. Your gun should go to 3,000 PSI. That's it. Unless you have a bigger tank on there which you can put on yourself. But I don't go into all that. I just get it out of the box and shoot the gun. I don't, I don't do all that. Like I said though, I said this in the tabletop, I'm going to say this then we're going to go ahead and start skipping ahead. Um, if you are filling this gun for the first time, which as this field test, most of you probably are, make sure that you are caulking your bolt before you fill that gun from zero so that you don't, um, so that you, that will relieve pressure on the hammer spring in the gun. So make sure you're doing that. Another quick tip I want to point out for you guys here. When you're filling this air gun, um, make sure you have your lens covers on your scope to kind of keep dust and everything out of your scope lenses. Just a little suggestion I figured I'd throw out. And like I said, make sure you have this on like a soft mat or a gun case. Mine's on a gun case right now. Just to avoid getting it scratched up. But if you don't really care how it looks, then you can obviously just put it on the ground if you don't care. But I, I kind of care how my product looks, so I'm just going to lay it on the mat. My compressor's pretty fast, so it's it's getting right up there to where it needs to be. I can, there's a nanometer over here on my compressor I'm watching. Should be about halfway. Sorry. Yeah, we are about halfway. Another quick tip is if you guys are using the compressor, don't be surprised if this thing reaches 60, 70 degrees Fahrenheit on your first fill because sometimes it will. Mine was almost 65 or 66 when I first filled this thing from zero. So don't be surprised, it will get pretty high. 
that will be 66 degrees Celsius, by the way. So it'll be a couple, like, 100 and some Fahrenheit. I'm not sure of all the measurements. I just know, basically, Celsius from the compressor, because I know it's good readings and what's not. Sometimes it'll sound like you're opening up a pop bottle there when you bleed that off. But make sure it's all out. Then the temperature will start running down as well. Also, if you guys do want to see a complete review on this Beaver compressor right here, there'll be a pinned comment below. This thing has held up for about three and a half months now, almost four months, and it's doing great. So. Um, leave a little comment there. Go down and check the pin comment, I should say, if you want to buy one of these. Make sure I kind of press it. Now what you're going to do, move this ammo crate here, ammo box, and then we're going to take and unhook that. Sometimes you'll hear a poof, but if you want it all bleed out, you won't. Now we're going to install the little fill nipple cover back on there, and there we go. Our gun is now filled up, and we're ready to go out and get the magazine loaded up for you, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so I'm going to show you how to load the 10-shot rotary magazine here. What you're going to do, there's a little arrow. It shows you to turn it this way. You're going to turn it, lock it in place. Mine don't really want to stay, so here's a trick. Hold it with your thumb there, and then take your finger and place it over this hole right here at the bottom. Go ahead and hold your finger like that. Take your pellet, put it head down. There you go, turn that. And then continue inserting a pellet head down the whole way around here. 10 times there you go now your 10 shot rotary magazine is all loaded up and ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to load the single shot tray now all right everyone so I'm gonna show you how to insert your single shot tray right now what you do you're gonna take your gun off safe pull your bolt back lock it back in there what you're gonna do you're gonna take your magazine or your single shot tray you're gonna insert it like this into your gun. So you can see right now, kind of let it go in there until it snaps into place. Sometimes that can take a second. Once you hear it snap, it's ready to go. Then if you can close your bolt on it, it's all ready. Then what you would do at this point, I'm not gonna actually show you how to do this, but you would take your magazine and put it head first, like this, in there. Your head would be facing, the your the pellet head would be facing the barrel that way and the skirt would be facing towards the back. And then you would close your bolt up and you'd be ready to fire, but we're not gonna be using the single shot tray. So I just kinda wanted to show you guys how to load it up there. So now let's go ahead and actually get to the field test now. That's what we've been waiting for. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, so you can see we are on our target here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my magazine put in and we're gonna go ahead and test this gun. Very excited about this, let's go. Okay. First shot was a little high. That's to be expected because it's full. Okay, because I zeroed it on the seventh shot. There we go. Alright. Number three. I pulled a little bit on that one, guys. That one was my mistake. This thing really does really, really well, guys. This thing has a lot of accuracy. This thing has squirrel accuracy, I'm going to tell you. 
I wouldn't want any other gun out there when I'm hunting squirrel but this because this is an awesome gun for hunting, I'll tell you. It's dead accurate. Alright, let's keep going. Got about three more shots here. shot eight. Shot nine. We're on that shot. We go, we're cutting. One final shot. Let's let the wind die real quick. gun. Let's go grab that target and get a look at it. Pretty excited. Stay tuned. I'll tell you what guys, I'm impressed. This is the analysis of those results. That is a damn good group at 20 yards. Um, especially with the wind being a little a little funny today and it being kind of on the higher side with the wind probably anywhere from two to seven miles an hour. This is a dime group I'm going to tell you and that's with um, Crossman Hollow Point 22. Um, technically, we wouldn't measure a group like this, but we are going to use this dime to measure the group just to kind of show you guys how accurate this thing is. You can see right there, that's a dime. I can't really hold it up there. That's a dime sized group. So, the whole thing total with this whole target, I'd say that's about a quarter size group. And I did pull funny on that one, as I told you. So, a lot of those right there, that's probably about, let's see, there's one there. So,. The shots that cover the dime, okay, yeah. That's eight shots in one dime size group. So that gun, the Umarex Gauntlet 22, is definitely a winner in the accuracy department. Um, haven't seen a gun this good since the Umarex Origin 22. Um, I'll show you those results one more time. You can get a quick pause on there if you want to. Definitely recommend that gun for hunting. I definitely do. This is obviously the clear winner. Um, and accuracy because of how good this thing is okay it, it's got everything and it's even regulated so that's going to really help the accuracy out being regulated the way it is so um yeah really impressed um that's with crossman hollow point i guarantee if you started um running jsb exact and um I'm trying to think jsbs and stuff like that through it you definitely have and h and n you definitely have a lot of good groups way tighter than that but for me i'm just using crossman hollow point because i'm mostly planking with mine so i mean accuracy is not a big deal for me but that gun is extremely accurate and when i got squirrels coming in the backyard sometimes you know this thing is going to humanely and accurately dispatch them when i need it to in the 20 in the 15 to probably the 40 yard range um i can't speak for anywhere past that because i don't have any for, i have only 40 yards to really mess around with and do guns so i don't got much further to test stuff with so gonna gonna say it's safe to say this is a clear winner i totally recommend buying this gun and it is a five out of five let's get this video wrapped up now all right everyone so that's going to do it for today's video um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video. A few things I want to say before we get into the closing here is I am impressed with the accuracy in this gun on a windier day and with and with cheaper pellets. These pellets are only about about seven bucks where I live at Walmart. They are very cheap and you get about 500 of them. They do awesome in this gun. This gun will cut groups at 20 yards, dime size groups at 20 yards like nobody's business. And I told you guys that in the tabletop review. So do I recommend going over to Pyramid Air and purchasing these one of these for 224? Uh, absolutely. Um, if you guys do need a fill source, they have hand pumps for as cheap as 50 bucks um, as you only get the gun. But I mean, by the point you get, a gun, you get the gun, 
So if you added the hand pump with mine, this cost me about 360 for this gun and scope. You could add the hand pump and that only bring you to about 420. And that is an awesome price to get into the PCP world and just get an awesome gun with such great accuracy and it's regulated. So there is no reason to not get yourself an Umar X gauntlet. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing for more air gun content. If I did forget anything, please let me know. Um, down below there will be a link for the air compressor I showed you guys that I use. There'll also be a there will be a link to the video of that. Um, there will also be a link to the tabletop review of this gun. Um, and also if you guys are interested in getting yourselves a 25 version of this gun, you can do that and you can check out my tabletop and field test. Those will also be in the description and probably in a pinned comment. So right about now, shortly after now, there should be some videos popping up on the screen. Feel free to check any one of those out. One of those will be the tabletop review. I'll hopefully be uploading on Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. Everyone stay safe and this thing is pretty damn accurate. I recommend absolutely 100% purchasing one of these Umarex Gauntlet 22s or even the 25 if you're more so for the knockdown power. So stay safe everyone. Bye for now.